What's going on guys, it's Omniarch and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be opening up the new gaming PC that I purchased for my Yeah, Power. I hope this angle is okay, this is like the best that I can do to get everything in the same shot. Hopefully the audio isn't too much, uh, too echoey up where the phone is. Um, but this mo this box is massive. This thing is at least like 35 pounds. It's freaking huge. I mean, you can see the size of this thing is is huge. And if you guys have been following me on stream or on uh, social media, you may have seen me talking about the computer that I ordered, the new PC. Um, and that's what this is. This finally came in the mail. I ordered it a couple of weeks ago and it arrived today while I was streaming. Um, and I wanted to do an unboxing for you guys. I am not sponsored by iBuyPower, obviously. I am a very small channel. Um, so yeah, I'm not sponsored at all. I've never built, uh, I never, I've never um, ordered a made to order computer, if that makes sense. I've never gone to a website like iBuyPower and customized a computer and have them built it, build it for me and send it to me. Um, when I built my old computer, which is down there, I don't know if you can see it, um, but when I built that computer, I just ordered the components and built it myself. Um, and this time around, I did some math and I was comparing the prices and it wasn't that much more expensive to have iVibePower build it for me and ship it to me. Um, and it just saves me the headache of having to build it myself and spend all that time. And also, um, they are, they supposedly have a professional wiring that they do to maximize airflow. And you know, they're, they're professionals. They know what they're doing. That's what they're in the business of. So I figured I would just order the computer, have them ship it to me as is. It's custom built. I customized all the components. Um, and I want to open this up for you guys just to, to see what the, the computer looks like, see how the packaging is, uh, and kind of just experience it with you guys so we can see um, how, what iBuyPower is all about. I'm really hoping the audio quality is good. Okay, I should be mostly in shot. I hope that this this angle isn't too ridiculous. Um, I did put a, a towel down on my, on my bed. You probably can't see, but I put a towel down on the bed because this box is filthy. Um, I used to work for a shipping company, so I know the conditions that this thing has been through. And uh, I just wasn't prepared to put that on my clean bed. So yeah, oh, it looks like that side was already cut. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm really excited because I haven't, I built my old computer a very long time ago and uh, it's very outdated. It was basically a budget build when I did it. Um, and then I just added a, a graphics card basically. So this is a way better computer, way, way, way better. Um, the box is massive. I don't understand why, but I'm seeing now that it's probably gonna be a lot of foam. Oh yeah, there's tons of foam in here. Okay, what does it say? Important notice before moving your system out of the box, please make sure you keep, uh, make sure you remove the there's a couple different options when you're customizing this computer. You can choose, uh, I guess, premium packaging where they ship it like extra careful, I guess. I didn't do that. Um, so this looks pretty good to me. So this is just a thick sheet of foam. That's it. Uh, you probably can't really hear me very well like that. So let's get rid of this. Um, I don't know. Maybe is this foam clean? Probably not. I'll just put it on the floor. Okay. Let's see what's in here. They kind of just threw this in here. This is all wrinkled. Quick start guide. Hello, dream PC. Removing protective foam. Before you begin, you must remove the protective packing foam before turning on your system. This is a gaming keyboard that they offered me for five dollars. Uh, it was basically like, hey, do you want a gaming keyboard for five bucks? And I was like, why not? I've spilled shit on my old on my old keyboard a bunch of times. And uh, even if this sucks, then it, at least it'll be like a backup keyboard. So let's open this up and see what this looks like. It's um, apparently it's backlit with all sorts of colors and such. So I want to see just kind of what we're working with. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, so obviously not mechanical for $5. Um, this key is kind of fucked up. It smells very strongly like cheap plastic. So obviously this is not a super high quality keyboard, but if it's your first computer ever and you need a keyboard and you want one that's got multiple colors, you can't really go wrong for $5. Like literally this was $5. So yeah, can't complain at all. If anything, it'll just be my backup, uh, my backup, um, keyboard. And, oh, it does have a braided cable, which is nice. These buttons feel kind of cheap and flimsy, so I don't know how well that is, but at least you can change the volume right from here, which is which is pretty sweet. I'm gonna put this back. Again, it smells very strongly of like cheap plastic, so I, I don't know. Probably will be a backup for me, but um, we'll see how this goes. Anyway, let's get into the computer. So this massive thing, 
Okay, this is all foam. This is really good. I love how they packaged this. This is like really thick foam. It's not like, um, it doesn't compress very easily when you squish it, which is good because that means all the bumps and things that this thing must have gone through on the road shouldn't have affected it too much. Although um, this bag is a little bit wrinkled. So maybe stuff did slide around a little bit. Not really sure. Keep away from small children. Uh, ain't no small tr children up, up in this bitch. So this is a bag full of component, uh, just, just giving cables basically. This is an HDMI cable. This is a braided HDMI cable it looks like. I think I paid for this. I think I, this was like five bucks. Um, so I added that in there because you can't really have too many HDMI cables. This is the power cord for the computer. So I'm gonna need that. And what else is in here? This is extra cables for different components inside the computer. So if I ever add anything else, I believe, I'm probably gonna need these. So that's good that they included all of that. Um, let's see. This is a thank you for your purchase. $10 Amazon gift card. If you leave a review, that's pretty cool. So I'm, I'm probably gonna use that. I do use Amazon. It looks like this comes with a remote to change the color of my motherboard, which is really cool. Um, this looks like the, um, chipset support DVD for my, uh, for the motherboard. So yeah, hopefully everything is already preloaded. I don't think I have to do anything with the computer. Um, what is everything else in here? These are just installation disks. Um, I guess probably some drivers and stuff. I don't know what this... Speed setup, wow. Thank you for purchasing an Asus graphics card. Okay, so that's that. VMP, member warranty, etc. This looks like it is the... There's a little couple screws here. I don't know what that's for. This looks like the remote to change the color of the motherboard. So my motherboard does have built-in um, lights, basically. So I can change it remotely without having to, like, get up and, and go or go through the computer. Um, pretty cool. It looks, you know, standard remote. Nothing special. So let's move this off to the side, keeping everything on the towel because it all smells like uh you know cheap plastic so anyway let's pull i guess pull from the bottom i don't know if there's anything underneath this probably not oh there is there's some stuff under here oh there's another keyboard what the f okay well all right we'll get to that in a second i want to see what the computer looks like this is the ultimate unveiling actually you know what i'm going to do i'm going to transfer the computer to the bed this should be relatively clean i'm hoping so let's do that and uh, we'll get this huge box out of the way. So this is the packing slip. It just has the computer on it. I'm not gonna show that because that's got my information on it. This is another keyboard. This is a mechanical keyboard. I don't know. One of these, I one of them came with the computer and one of them I, I spent $5 on. The other one might, might've been the free one. And this might be the one that I spent money on because this one is in a much nicer box. And uh, let's see. I mean, if, if, if you're gonna spend money on a keyboard, you know, Hopefully it's the nicer of the two and not the free one. If this is the free one though, that's, that's pretty cool. This one says mechanical, but I don't know. I don't really believe it. What the f They used Hercules tape on this thing. Okay, so this is a much nicer keyboard. Um, the Mech 2 Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. Oh, this is mechanical, okay. So another braided cable, um, a bit better packaging this time around. It looks like this is a, uh, a, a wrist rest. Uh, I just wanna see how this compares to what I'm currently working with. Oh, it's metal. Wow, this is cool. Yeah, so it is completely mechanical. Um, all the keys are mechanical. Um, it's a red metal. So I don't know how I feel about the red metal. Um, it's a, it's a, it's a lot. Like it's, I, I wasn't ready to commit to red, but uh, I think this was the five dollar keyboard that I got, and it is mechanical, so that's really cool. Um, I said that like fifteen times, but yeah, interesting, uh, interesting keyboard here. I'm definitely gonna play around with this and see how I, see how I like it. It's kind of loud. Um, and there's no uh, separate volume control. So that's a, that's like a big thing for me. I, I don't know. I just, I really like to be able to change my volume without going into the system and doing it that way. So let's move this off to the side. There's also uh, a mouse in here. This is the iBuy Power Zeus E2. This is probably nothing special. And I know you guys are going to kill me because I'm leaving the computer reveal for the very end. But I just want to see what the mouse looks like, because if you guys order from them, you're probably going to get all this stuff. And uh, I want you guys to know what it looks like so you have an idea. So this is the basic mouse that comes with it. It's not wireless. It is wired. Um, it, uh, it's got a couple buttons on the side, which is nice. So you can kind of custom configure that, I assume. And yeah, overall, the wire feels pretty cheap. The device, it, it, 
I mean, it's a free mouse, right? So like it's usable, but it's probably not gonna be the best thing that you that you use. If you're really gonna be serious about online or like um, PC gaming, you're probably gonna use something other than this. But again, if it's your first PC, the fact that they include it is really cool. So let's get all this stuff out of the way. I've completely made a mess of my room. This is definitely not a marijuana leaf. So don't even, uh, don't even pretend, okay? I got this when I was in California and it's a bear and I didn't realize he was smoking weed and I don't know, it's just, okay. So this is the computer. Let's do the ultimate reveal. So let's pull this bag off, see how it looks. Here it is, boys. Okay, so this right off the bat, this is a, um, this is a magnetic, uh, fan guard, I believe, or like a dust filter or whatever. And it was, it was off center. So that's kind of annoying. I mean, who cares? There's no dust in the box, so it doesn't matter. So this is what it looks like. This, I believe is called the, uh, it was the trace two case, right? I think it's called the trace two or the trance two or something like that. It is made by I buy power. Um, it was a really good deal. Like in terms of the pricing of the cases, a lot of them were uh, more expensive than this one. And this, right, so my alarm went off and ruined it. Um, so this case looked really nice. It was a really good uh, price point. So I already customized everything in the computer and I didn't want to spend like way too much on the case, but I didn't want a crummy one. So I don't know, this one looked like a good a good compromise. All right, so the first thing we have to do is, is remove the side panel. Now, I don't know if you can hear that, but that is actual glass, it's tempered glass. So let's open this up. Now, right off the bat, it looks pretty cool on the side here. Um, I don't wanna lose these screws. So I'm gonna put these um, in my back pocket, I guess, cause that I'm keeping my pants on the whole video, boys. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Some of the rubber actually came off inside here. So I'm gonna show you that real quick. Just, oh, I actually have to bring it closer. But what you can see here is um, that we've got a custom uh, engraving here. It says OmniArc on the side of the panel, which is really cool. It's actually in, I don't know if you can see that very well, but yeah, it's actually etched into the, um, into the glass, which is really, really nice. So yeah, full glass, it is real glass. It's not like plastic or anything like that. It is a bit dirty, like there's fingerprints and like grease on it. So whoever's in the warehouse uh, probably didn't wash their hands, but that's fine. I can clean this. That's not really a big deal. I could just Windex it because it is, it is glass. All right, this says, please do before turning on. This is the same thing that was in there before. It says, remove the side panel, take out all the foam, etc. Check the connections, make sure nothing got messed up during the shipping. So this is the foam. This, the instructions here look like for the employees, maybe? I don't understand. Um, it doesn't look like I need to do anything special. So this is the inside of the computer. So I'm gonna get my phone so you guys can come see everything in here. So we're just we're just gonna get a closer look of everything in here. So we have the GeForce RTX. This is the 2070 Super right here. Um, this is a liquid cooling. We've got, uh, I think these are all three fans are pumping out of the front of the computer. Um, the back of the computer here has all the port, uh, ports on it. So we've got a couple different ports here. The rest are covered by this sticker. So I guess so that way stuff doesn't get inside them when it's shipping. Um, kind of annoying how that peels, that doesn't peel off very nicely, uh, but whatever, I can always go, go back and do that. Um, yeah, so those are all the ports. It looks like a bunch of USB 3.0, which is super nice. Now this right here is my, uh, this is the Wi-Fi card. I don't know where the antennas are. They're probably in one of these bags or something like that. Um, but uh, yeah, I guess it makes sense that they would unscrew them to ship it. So yeah, we've got liquid cooling here, which is really cool. Um, this is the graphics card. I probably shouldn't be just touching this stuff with my hands because if I shock the motherboard, then that is it. Bye bye computer. We do have another fan on the rear of the device. Um, the cable management looks really good. It looks like they used um, it looks like they used some zip ties and everything, some different sleeves and stuff. So everything in here looks really, really nice, really well done. This is Velcro to the side there. This I believe is probably the receiver for the remote to change the color of the motherboard. That's what I would assume that is. And then we've got two. Um, oh, they used Corsair. So this is the we have two. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but these are the RAM sticks, two 16 gigabyte sticks. Super excited about that. So we have 32 gigs of RAM. Processor un underneath here is the i9, Intel i9, 9, 9900K. 
And yeah, that's pretty much everything in here. Nothing too exciting besides all that. They must have put the hard drive and solid state drive somewhere in this section, I would assume, because I don't see it anywhere else here unless I'm just blind. Um, and then also here we have uh, 512 gigabytes of solid state storage right there. I believe it's 512, might be 256. I don't remember, but we have tons of storage in this thing. And then right on the top of the computer, just so you get a closer look, this is, these are the ports that are on the top here. So we have headphones, microphone uh, power, and two, sorry, two USB uh, 3.0. And this is what the front of the device looks like, the trace, trance case, whatever it's called, I apologize. And if you guys wanna see um, what I was talking about with the screws, it looks like some of the rubber for the screws here, let me see if I can focus. Some of the rubber here is all is like ripped off. So like it's supposed to look like this. So I don't know what happened there, but like this one is like that too. So yeah, some of them are like that, some of them aren't. I don't know if that happened during shipping or whatever the case is. Okay, so please ignore the gigantic mound on the front of my face. I am going to hook everything up, test it out, make sure that it works, and I will show you guys what the computer looks like fully plugged in with everything up and running. Okay, now just excuse the angle here for a second uh, because we are working from behind the television that we've got going on here. So right now what I've done is this is my the screen that I game on. This is the, gonna be my old computer and this is gonna be my new computer. I do have to get new monitors eventually, maybe for the holiday season, maybe Black Friday. I kind of messed up a little bit of everything, but let's turn on the computer for the first time, shall we? Let's see if everything everything goes as planned. This is the on button here. No. Oh, there we go. Oh, I hear the liquid. I hear the liquid cooling. The lights are on. The Omniarch, lo Omniarch logo looks dope. We see the uh, graphics cards got some lights there. We see the um, the fan has some lights here as well, but yeah, mostly just the lights on the side there look really, really cool. So let's head over here and we see the Asus um, logo. So that's the motherboard um, company. That's, yeah, this is the keyboard. Like I said, this is the mechanical one that came with it. Um, it does look like it's lighting up red right now. Oh, it looks like it's changing different colors. So that's really cool. Uh, let's see how this boots up and I will, um, I will let you guys know if anything goes wrong or anything like that. So this is what it looks like when the lights are fully on. Um, everything seems to be up and running just fine. I can change the colors of the lights with the remote that came in the box. So no matter what color I press, it switches. You can also have it flash different colors. You can have it um, kind of fade between the different colors. Everything looks really good. Everything is working as it's supposed to. Um, this is the computer. Everything is up and running just fine. So I really have no more else to say about this unboxing. Um, like I said, everything worked just smooth. I just plugged it in, it powered on, it booted up Windows, and that was it. Um, I didn't have to worry about installing anything. I realized that this, I didn't put a, a CD DVD, DVD drive in this computer because who needs those? So it's funny that they obviously package the device drivers anyway, because that's, it came with the components, but I wouldn't be able to use them anyway. So um, yeah, the mouse, I didn't get to try the mouse yet because the cable was too short to reach from where I put the computer to this desk here. Um, but we are using the keyboard. I haven't configured the lights or anything like that. I haven't really used it, but it is um, very loud. So I don't know if we're going to use that. We'll see. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm really happy with the experience. Um, there was just the glass was a little bit dirty, so I'll have to clean. I cleaned that. Um, and then uh, the rubber on the screws was a little bit messed up. But besides that, everything is fine. Um, the liquid cooling, I can hear it. It's working. Everything is working as it's supposed to. So now it's just a matter of downloading all the software that I need on here to be up and running so we can start recording more videos, editing, uh, streaming, everything like that. Um, so I'm super excited for what I can finally do now, the types of content that I can make, the types of things that I can now stream for you guys over on Twitch. Um, with that being said, guys, if you enjoyed this video, um, make sure you drop a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Subscribe for more videos. Um, probably not like this, but more Call of Duty and gameplay related content. 
follow me on Twitch. I've talked about it a lot in this video. So follow me on Twitch, link in the description below, as well as all of my other social media links um, are all going to be down there. And if you guys want, comment down below telling me what you think about iBuyPower, what do you think about the computer? As I said, the specs will be in the description. And with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Omni Arc. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.